Be a responsible citizen. In a village in Mauritius, there lived Mr. and Mrs. Dumont and their two sons, Malcolm and Robert. Malcolm was very obedient and followed all rules and instructions. He was always well appreciated by all. On the contrary, Robert was the opposite. He behaved very irresponsibly, leading him very often in trouble. He neither followed any rules nor listened to anyone. For the summer holidays, the family decided to discover the wildlife park. Once they reached, the guide instructed them not to stand, sit, climb or lean on zoo fences and not to feed any animal. Malcolm followed the guide's instructions whereas Robert had something else in mind. Inside the park, there were giant tortoises, giraffes, elephants, crocodiles and other animals. Robert dared to explore everything. He even fed the tortoises. He made fun of animals, climbed trees and did not follow any instructions. His mother was very upset about his behavior and asked him to behave well. When they reached the crocodile pool, the warning of the board clearly mentioned danger ahead. Do not climb or lean on the zoo fence. Despite having read the warning, Robert could not resist the temptation to go beyond. He climbed on the fence and accidentally fell into the crocodile pool. His family was terrified. Without losing time, they shouted for help. The crocodile was slowly approaching Robert. He was desperate and cried for help. The rescue swimmer, who was nearby, intervened immediately and managed to rescue Robert. After this incident, Robert regretted not following the instructions and not listening to his parents. He asked for forgiveness and promised to always obey his parents and comply with rules and instructions. From that day, Robert learned a good lesson and vowed not to repeat the same mistakes. He changed his behavior and became an obedient person like his brother. Moral of the story when we disobey, there are always unpleasant and bad consequences. To become a responsible citizen, always follow the good examples and advice given by elders.